What's up guys, it's Dan and we are gonna show you today how to do an ECU flash with the Dim Sport My Genius device. This is a OBD2 tool that allows you to communicate with the Mercedes, the new W205 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine, as well as many other vehicles. So we're gonna show you how that works and how easy it is to flash your car. All right, as we said, the My Genius works for many different vehicles to flash via the OBD2 port. We use them a lot on Mercedes, Porsche, BMW, Range Rover, Scion, and a slew of other vehicles. This is a new vehicle with the 4.0 liter twin turbo V8, and we've got it set up ready to flash. We'll show you what the My Genius looks like. First step when you're reading or riding to the car is you want to have it on a battery charger because it takes a lot of use when you're actually reading. So we like to set it up to make sure we have 12 volts of constant power going to the car. So you can see here we have our battery charger in place. So now that's set up, our next step is to take the dim sport, update it on our PC and bring it out here so we can do the flash. All right, with the dim sport updated on the PC, we've now brought it out here and we've got it connected to the OBD2 port. So you can see here, this is plugged in. We've got the dim sport device here ready and we're gonna go through the steps to do the ID. On this Bosch uh, MED17 ECU, you can actually read it out. You do an ID, we find the matching software, the original software file, get that, make the tune, compile the original and the tune together, send that off to you. Uh, for this particular vehicle in ECU, and that way you can switch between tuned and stock right from the DIMS board. So let's go through that process. All right, so the first step here is to turn the ignition on. We wanna turn that on so all the lights are on the dashboard. So you've got two steps here. You got one click and two clicks, and now you can see everything is there. So now we've got the DIMS board here in front of us and it's gonna be hard to kind of see there. So we got work, work is the first step. So we'll go ahead and hit select. Okay, so now we're gonna do PRT identify. Connect to a battery charger, we have done that. And the dashboard is on, so click okay. Starting the communication process. And we'll wait here for a second while it does that. So switch off, this several times you'll switch on and off the dashboard. So let's go over here. Now we'll switch that back on two times. Okay, and it says switch off the dashboard, okay. Protocol identify, okay. ID, again, remember I said we're doing an ID. You can't actually read the CCU. So we click ID, make sure we're connected to a battery charger, which it is. And the dashboard I've already turned on, okay. All right, we gotta switch off the dashboard again. So we'll press that over here. Dashboard is totally off. Back to the My Genius, and we will switch it off. So that's done. So the ID is done. That probably took about less than a minute. Now we take the My Genius unit to the PC so we can uh, download the ID file, which you will then send to us here at VR Tuned, and um, we'll go through that process shortly. All right, so we've brought the DIMS board here inside. We've got it connected to our PC to be able to extract the ID file to then upload for the tuner to do the tune. So we've got the FireWire cable. Um, actually, this is a printer USB cable that comes with the kit. Plug that into the My Genius and we'll open up the My Genius client that you download um, from, the, from the software card that's included in your case. So let's show you how that's done on the PC. All right, so the dim sport is plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and open the My Genius client. 
Now you've already done this to begin with, which is where you update it before you even start. So now you don't have to do any of these software updates or anything. So let it connect here. And once that's done, you'll see a little bit different of a screen where it'll say if you want to download or upload to My Genius. We're gonna download from My Genius, as you can see here, and we're gonna save that file to the desktop. Now as an ID, I believe this is only about six kilobytes. So you don't need to change it. You don't need to try and read it. It is an encrypted file. So let's go ahead and download that. So we'll click on download from My Genius. Um, hit next. Where do you want to save it? We'll just save it to My Documents. Next. Confirm. And it will then save that mygfile.fpf to your computer. And once that's done, all you got to do if you're tuning with us here at VRTune, is go to vrtune.com slash installation. Let me show that to you, vrtune.com slash installation. You've already been here because you saw the notes for DimSport, and that's how you follow the instructions. And as you see later on, you'll click here to upload your file. You then go here, fill out all your information, and upload your file and submit. And that's how we receive your file. And we usually will send that file back within 24 hours during business hours. So now we've finished that part. Now it's time to wait for the tune. And once we get the tune back, we'll show you how that is flashed back to the car. All right, so we just got the file back and now it's time to upload it to the My Genius device. We've saved it already to our computer in a folder. And once we upload that, we can then go to the car. So. Once we connect the My Genius, it goes through the prompts. Again, you don't have to do an update, so we click Upload to My Genius, and we will then select where the file is. So next, and our file is located in this one, which would be our customer's name. So we're gonna go to that real quick. And here we go. So it is this MYG file. This is the file we would send you um, now this is, has the, both the original and the tune file compiled together. So when you go to write the file, you can choose to flash the tuned, or you can choose to flash the original depending on which is already in the vehicle. And the My Genius units can store, I believe it's up to 10 files. So if you had any custom tuning done, you know, race gas maps, etc., it's really nice. So go ahead and select that. Um, then we'll go through the rest of the prompts here so it can load it. And as soon as that's done, we will take it out and show you how to flash to your car. And as you can see, that process is fairly simple and quick to upload the file to your My Genius. We've got this plugged in again to the USB system. Remember, when you are doing an ECU flash on your vehicle, you wanna make sure you have a battery charger on the car. It's really important, that way it keeps a constant 12 volts. Sometimes the programming of an ECU can draw a lot of voltage and low battery means the car and battery can die. And if that happens during the right process, it can brick your ECU. So remember, always have a battery charger. All right, process is complete, so let's head out to the car. All right, back here in the shop, we're gonna plug the My Genius in so we can do the ECU flash. This is a C63 with the 4.0 liter V8 engine. And this is the 476 horsepower version. So this is not the S, but once we do the ECU flash, it will take it to a tuned S power. Same engine, the only difference between the S and the non-S is the tuning as far as the engine goes. So we'll actually get the same power that we get out of a tuned S model once done. So let's show you how it flashes. All right, we're here with the car. We're gonna go ahead and plug the My Genius in. And again, that uh, we've left it in the OB2 port because we don't need to um, take that out. So plugging this thing in, following the instructions, of course, that we have nicely written at vrtune.com slash installation. First step, turn the ignition on. And we do two clicks, that way all the lights are on the dashboard, your ABS, PSM, all those lights. So you can see here, all the lights are on. So now we're gonna go through the process here to write the new tune file. Okay, first step here, work. We wanna do writing. 
and it tells you there's the VR tune mod, so we're going to hit OK. And as we go through this, it tells us exactly what to do. It's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, flashing this probably take about 15 minutes at most. Of course, we will speed through that for you. Um, so we've got the ignition already on. We'll do a couple ignition cycles. It tells you to remember to connect the battery to a battery charger, which we've done. So hit OK. Switch the dashboard on. OK. And we'll go through the communication process. Switch the dashboard off. And that is off. So we'll come back here. And OK. And we're going to start riding. So it's going to tell us to switch the dashboard back on. Remember, two. That way all the lights are on the dash. So there's one. There's two. And we'll go through here and hit OK. You never ever want to interrupt the riding process. When you do that, or if you do that, again, this can brick the ECU, which can be recovered if you take the ECU out and send it in, and it can be done on the bench. So, do not interrupt the flashing. Do not let the battery die. That's why it's on a car charger. If you have an iffy cable, replace it. Don't let that fail. All right, the programming has just completed, so now we got to switch off the dashboard to do some key cycles here. OK, off. So we'll go ahead and hit the OK. And please connect your vehicle still, yep, OK. Switch on the dashboard. And make sure we want to go two times so all the lights are on. And OK. Switch off the dashboard again. Hit OK. And riding ECU has been completed. Now we'll fire the car up. Make sure it starts OK. No lights. And we should be all completed. We finished riding the ECU flash here with the DIMM Sport device. Step one, foot on the brake, and let's make sure everything starts up okay. Car fires up, no issues. We've got no lights. Give it a couple revs, make sure it sounds good. What's immediately noticeable whenever you flash one of these vehicles is it's going to rev out a lot quicker. Most importantly though is when you're flashing with the dim sport make sure everything goes smooth. All right so that's it we just finished flashing with the My Genius device from dim sport with a VR tuned ECU flash and like I said VR tune covers so many different ECUs for different vehicles Audi, Volkswagen, Porsche, BMW, Land Rover, Aston Martin, etc., etc. So this device is extremely easy to use to do ECU flashes for any of these cars. So if you want to see what's available for your car, go hit up vrtune.com. You can check out our main website for all types of performance parts and ECU tuning at vividracing.com. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and make sure you smash the subscribe button. Thanks, guys. We'll see you at the next one.